Good morning. September 16, 2020. The summer is over. But I still wanted to show you the sunflowers. Fresh and happy, guys. I mm. look so happy. Pan haka ang nagbago. Nag-repair sila sa ilahang house. And another group of sunflower here where the bees are. As you know guys, uh, we have four beehives which is uh, which are produced lots of honey this year. And we're happy selling those honey to our friends and families. The soil is so dry, so we, we've been here like a week ago, so no water at all, not so much rain. But the sunflowers are standing tall and they are really facing to the sunshine but this one is really special the color is like a pale yellow hmm, it's really funny and under the sunflower there are these flowers Spanish margarita they're so nice and beautiful. This one is like summer. Summer flowers. They're also very nice. And the bees love love them very much. A lot there. And the last blackberries. Hmm. Mm, that is the apple shell. Mm. I will pick the rest of them. I'm gonna use for my soaping. And they are organic. The grown here in the wild as you can see mm. no water and free chemical there's no like fertilizer or anything they're just growing widely here in the forest we call it in the forest because well we are really in the middle of the forest and this one is like a big year. It's the first year we planted this kind of flower. It's very beautiful and <laughs> the bees and the butterflies and small insects love them very much. Small sunflower. And there. Uh, Bear. I don't know in English. And the last thing. Bear fruits. They're so cute. They're not even higher than me. And the coming up flowers. My little bahaykubo there I used to spend my time and the sunflowers they are still blooming and this one are finished and ready to be invested this one guys they are all all organic and that's why the flower is not that big so when you plant uh, organic 
you cannot really produce a lot because they are small they are lacking of uh, like um, not a, a fertilizer but um, I should use the chicken manure fertilizer but I did not do this year because we are not here all the time so even though I will give chicken manure fertilizer uh, which is from nature they will still be dying because of lack of water look at that bumblebee it's just getting so busy so I remove them and pick up some pollen and the beans are growing outside the greenhouse look at that just uh, to seek sunlight mm -hmm. and a giant broccoli they, they were eaten by insects uh, got their pillars and snails these one are slugs this one it's big no cauliflower There's also still sunflowers here. We are really surrounded with sunflower because um, I spread them all over. You can always use sunflower seeds. The primary use of them this time and last time I used to make uh, sunflower milk and then into oil I use for soaping and beauty products because it's 100% organic and it's good for our skin so I use that and also that I'm sprouting them for the salad which is uh, it is very good because when you buy this uh, sprout sunflower sprout in the store it's very expensive especially when it's organic and aside you are not even sure if it's 100% organic right the store who wants to earn money the business people they will just tell you that it's organic but not totally so the purpose is we are going to list the garbage garbages and chemicals in our body and in the environment environment <clears throat> for our future children and grandchildren so we will have a healthy living or they will have because we will get old and also that we have to listen these chemicals uh, and, and be aware of what we are eating because as we get old our body get uh, tired and losing lots of uh, minerals and vitamins so we have to aware of that and we are bombarded with bad and harsh chemicals on skin care soap and foods that we have to be very aware so we are not going to suffer for any diseases and pain you know guys i'm proud to say that this uh, sitaw balatong or string bean it's from my garden in the philippines in lama it's a uh, meringue who have uh, planted this in our garden so thank you to marine this one this i really love this because look at that color it's the first time i've seen this kind of color like red or maroon and then the green and it's so beautiful because it's giving some you know also this one so i keep this i will not eat this one i will be very patient i will keep it until 
can uh, you know like the seeds will be uh, old so i can plant it next year so it's reserved for next year then i can share with you if you want to plant also diba kung gusto mo mag nyo magpaliwatan diba so i'll give you some of course mga tanglad mga plants guys it's like pa isa isa lang but it produce a lot for the whole year so you do not need to go to the market during the summertime this one mani kailang mag mani it's like peanuts from the Philippines na ako ko yung mani hano and then citron lime it's also very useful for making food and akong pangkong wala dyan lumiig wala na siya dahon that's a pangkong from my friend from my Thai friend and ako ko'y gabi it's complete na yung mga bawing and the sunflowers that are drying there and then the carrot seeds they are also drying yeah it's very fascinating I'll pick it uh, them all later because they are really red now and Brian loves to eat them see you guys okay bye